financial wellness is a financial state where you, you can comfortably meet your current financial obligations and you're also prepared financially for any events that may occur in the future and are emergencies. So it's the ability to take care of your current situation and cater for any future eventualities. The first steps, uh, you need to conduct an audit of your current financial situation and look at where you stand in terms of the income and the expenses that you incur, your living expenses. And then once you do that, you can write a budget, which will work as a guideline to look at the expenses that you currently have and also rewriting uh, any new expenses that might have come in during uh, the recent past, like um, major life changes that might have taken place in your life, maybe loss of a job or uh, you have a new child or you recently got married. So you need to consider these uh, facts into your budget so that now you're able to either reduce your expenses or look for ways to increase your, win your income. Well, the, the pandemic caught us unaware and uh, it has caused uh, loss of finances in many households and it will continue causing loss of finances in years to come because it's not a pandemic that maybe we can say it's ending uh, anytime soon. As an individual, in case of uh, financial losses uh, and as a household, in case of financial losses, uh, basically uh, what you need to, to do right now is still will emphasize on planning, prioritizing your expenses, uh, as well as using your resources uh, efficiently. Uh, if you happen to have lost your income in this pandemic or your income has been reduced, uh, let's say, by a certain percentage, uh, the basic things to do is first uh, to make sure you also uh, cut your budgets, uh, that is reduce expenses. And uh, in the normal circumstances, you may think like uh, your expenses are optimal and you can't reduce them any further. But most of the time, you will find that uh, the expenses that can be reduced, basically expenses like subscription, Netflix subscriptions, and all those expenses that you don't need, mm -hmm. make sure you reduce those. Uh, also, uh, engage uh, your time towards making an uh, extra income uh, during this time. That is, you can sell uh, those stuff that you don't need in the house or use your expertise and skills to generate an extra income. Uh, that said, I think uh, that is what happens during the pandemic, but on an overall perspective, uh, you need to have a plan. Uh, basically, what we emphasize here is you need to have an emergency fund. Uh, an emergency fund is not a fund that uh, is meant to take you through the pandemic, but it can also it can give you a softer landing. Uh, that is, uh, the recommendation is that you have uh, a fund that will cover for your cost for about six months. So in six months' time, it's expected that you've uh, re-strategized and being uh, you are able to to plan on how you're going to generate your next income. So basically, an emergency fund, uh, I would say it's an investment uh, objective per se. It's just one of the steps that you need to take uh, to realize your investment goals because uh, its main purpose is to caution you against any financial shocks. We need to have a fund that is highly liquid. That is for the sole reason that you need to convert it into cash at the time of need. So uh, to make it highly liquid, you need to invest in short-term assets. That is short-term interest earning assets. And when we say short-term interest earning assets here, we usually talk about uh, savings. Uh, you can do a fixed deposit that has a tenor of less than one year. Uh, you can invest in treasury bills that have a tenor of a maximum of uh, one year. The, the basic issue is that you need to be able to convert that into cash as and as when you required. And guys, let's remember, we're still in the middle of the pandemic and we need to observe all protocols set by the Ministry of Health, that is to wash your hands regularly with soap or to sanitize with an alcohol-based sanitizer, keep your social distance and always remember to wear your mask. 
while in public places. And we'll never let you down. CIC. CIC Insurance Group. We keep our word.